way to Denver Comic Con 2022. Finally back up and running, and we are so excited. We it's my first time going to a Comic Con. I don't know what the freak this is. But right now we are on the road. He's got a But we're excited, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more footage soon. There are all our appearances for today, but we got more coming along the way. Getting the tickets right now, and uh, see you guys again real soon. Still continuous blast here at Comic Con. He's out of his costume right now, but uh, we'll we'll be back in them the next day. But so exciting! The highlight of this trip was meeting a lot of really amazing cosplayers, getting to dress up and pose with a lot of them, and meeting a lot of nice people. Those are some sick sabers. This one I want to get so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Definitely one of the highlights of it was also, indeed, spending time with two of my very close friends, having fun in our rooms, and just overall, just a lot of fun things to do. This is totally not for marketing purposes, I swear. <laughs> One thing that was also a really great treat was indeed getting a chance to see some really amazing people, uh, just actors and just many things. As Web Warrior JP was so excited to meet Red Dead for them. Heroes. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Danny Crockett. Just imagine Danny Crockett and Bruce Lee facing off. Would you skin your own raccoon cap? Having the raccoon hat and Yeah. I think it'll be nice. And in the background, it's Billy and um, Mulan. <laughs> That's the same thing you can truly become somebody else. It is all about me disappearing and that person stepping forward through me and that comes through the um, is quite possibly I feel as just a single snapshot. Um, by the way, if no one's ever heard of The Last of Us, uh, if you wanted to show someone, I gotta show Fincher this actually. Um, the scene at the, at, the, at the house between uh, Tommy and Valley to me is you don't need to know anything about the story, you don't need to know anything about the characters, you can show that in isolation in the abstraction itself. And every time people are like, wait a minute, what's what's this about? Like, now we'll play the game. <laughs> if you show the poor scene, there's a lot of backfill, a lot of buy-in that you have to have in order to understand why that means so much. chance to meet as many famous people as I wanted to but I was able to actually meet and do an interview with a legend himself the man behind Batman and Joker Two-Face the infamous and amazingly talented Troy Baker is the recording that you see well, this is the black hello a black rectangular object oh my god do not steal my soul what is it oh well, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, like well, Oh, go for it. Make it a good one. All right, three, two, one. Hey guys, I am so excited today. I've got the legend, the Batman, the Joker himself, Troy Baker. Troy, how you doing, man? Getting better by the second. What you got? Uh, I guess my main question is, you put so many people in the DC world, yeah. from the lights of Two Face uh, to the lights of uh, Jason Todd, sure. uh, and of course your most legendary Batman and Joker. Yes, sir. And it surprised me that you were uh, Nathan Drake's brother, Samuel Drake, because I realized I was like, oh my God, he is. I guess my main question is, um, out of all those characters, which one has been your most favorite? <laughs> what you would probably say by the longest? It's hard. Batman was my first graphic novel that I ever bought, right? So that's going to be the, the first time that I got to put the cowl on, which is Lego Batman. I was I originally auditioned for two things, and the director was like, "Actually, I'm going to make you uh, Batman." I was like, "I'm sorry, what?" <laughs> so that was a that was a banner moment for the, for the nerd the kid in me. Um, the, the, when I finally got to do the Joker, that was just, that was the best. So of all of these characters, specifically within the Batman world, that's been kind of like my favorite. But anytime that somebody gives me an opportunity to be a character that I've written around the novel, that is a net thing. Awesome, man. I guess, hey, you mind doing one of them for my audience? Ooh, I don't know. What are you going to do with that camera, that kid? Let's take a picture together. <laughs> I guess, I'll say, Troy, I guess, close with the thumbnail, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Troy. Kind of funny, brother. Oh, yeah, it was... When I got this, my first lightsaber. Yeah. Alright, uh, so while your saber's trying to turn it on, you're going to hold it and 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 I'm going to show you your brightness. So while you're hovering over the flash you got, press the button once. So straight up and down is going to be 100%, either as bright or as hot as it will go. As you start turning it down, it will get quiet or dimmer, depending on what you have your settings on, until it eventually goes to zero. Ooh. So I'm going to leave you on the edge right now. Uh, to make your selection on any one of these, you're going to press the button once. It will say confirm and start up with the new set. Uh, so for your font menu, it's going to be similar. So you're going to hold and bounce it onto your wrist. So that's our Obsidian sound font. As you turn it down, it's going to cycle through our sound font. So each one will have a completely different startup sound. Each one of these has a completely different startup sound, power off, omni-flash, idle. 
quality. Uh, make your selection, you're going to hover over the sound part that you want, you're just going to press the button once, and it'll save you time to start up with the new sound. If you want, you can add your own custom sound fonts to this. If you follow the instructions on this back page, go to this website. We have a micro USB port on the soundboard. You can add your own custom sound fonts and make this sound like whatever you want. So you turn it off, you're just going to hold the button down until it turns off. That's pretty much it. Alrighty, thank you, man. No My first saver, let's go. Your boy's back and looking better than ever with a brand new mask. It's a little hard to see though, but it works. I guess I have the Tom Holland look. Well, anyway. Eh, eh. Uh, fix the hair. Hey guys, I am so glad. <laughs> Thank you for sticking in for just this video. It's been a blast. That was such a blast to go to. And sorry I've been away for a little while, but as you guys know, uh, the film's coming up very soon and I'm just mainly saving it because if you've looked at my channel and its videos, holy crap. I did not realize how many videos that I have made. So the next big one is going to be the Star Wars video, which will be the big 500th video. I actually did have to delete a video, so it's just a random short. If, if you guys are looking for that short, don't even worry about it. It's gone. It only got like two views. Thank you guys so much for sticking in. Um, I got a lot of cool stuff at Comic-Con like this. I got a really cool mask. Um, I've got things from like all sorts of pistols from like Devil May Cry. Don't want to drop them. I even got swords from Devil May Cry. I got this one. I got the Red Queen. I love this. Got a spark from Katana and another one that represents Virgil's a little bit. Uh, Genji's Katana. And of course, the biggest thing that you saw in the video, which was my most expensive purchase, and I know that was stupid to me, but it was worth it. Uh, one of the reasons why this is so expensive was because um, I got it custom made because it's a it's a handle of Luke Skywalker's but from the video you can see that it was green but I had them change it to blue to resemble Obi-Wan. I know, right? Anyway, thank, I want to thank you guys so much just for sticking with me throughout my long break, even though it was like, when I look back at it, it was only like four weeks. A little bit longer than usual. <laughs> I feel like John Tron, what was it, like 11 months? A little bit longer than usual. And just guys, if you want to actually check some things out on information for the video, you can click that video right here, which will of course let you know about the announcement. If you want to actually watch the, where the origin of this idea came from, click up above it. And of course that is where the inspiration came from. And thanks to this subscriber, that film is finally coming to fruition. And I'm so excited guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, if you can, please stick in for the video. And if you can, do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and like the video. Alrighty, see you guys.